Okay, this week we're looking at AM synth. I'm only going to show you the connections, uh, so it'll be a real short session. Then next time we'll go look at uh, the synthesizer in detail and see uh, why I like it so much. I do want to say that on Fedora, uh, you can't use Yum to install this. If you want to install it on Fedora, you need to compile it, but that should not intimidate you. If you go to the site, uh, pull, pull the thing down, unzip it, follow the instructions. There's only three steps. Uh, this can get, be compiled and working on your Fedora system. So, uh, don't let the fact that you have to compile it yourself, uh, intimidate you at all it's it's stupid simple and you, if if you manage to click uh youtube and watch this video then you can probably manage compiling this this uh software so there we go let's get into it okay like i said last week this week we're going to look at am synth we're not going to do too much with it I'm just going to show you how to make sure it's connected up. Should be a real short session. Uh, I do. I love this synth. We're going to uh, start our kind of synth series with it. It's it's very clean. It's very instructional on how synths uh, should be set up and work. Anyway, uh, we'll start with uh, Jack as always. And if you look, I have a keyboard hooked up, my Oxygen 25, and I'm going to hook it to MIDI through. Then I'm going to come to MIDI and say the system where, MIDI, where that resulted. And I'm going to hook the system to AM synth. And then we'll try playing a couple keys. So that seems to work. Uh, and, and that's pretty much all there is to it. You take your keyboard, plug it in, uh, Jack sees it. Uh, you hook the keyboard to MIDI through so that it hits the system. Go into MIDI, hook the system MIDI to whatever your utility would be, whatever whatever application you're running, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, just to uh, show you that that is indeed coming through a synth, we'll, uh, we'll pick a different uh, synth. Notice that sounds entirely different. Yes, the MIDI keyboard is going into AM synth. Now, should I not want to do that? Should I not have a keyboard and I still want to experiment with this? I'm turning the keyboard off now. We should see that there are no MIDI connections there for the keyboard. I'm going to bring up something called v VMPK, a virtual MIDI piano keyboard. Here it is. Once again, I go to connections. I will tell it um, this time VPM, VMPK is already in the system. I'm going to hook it to AM synth. And that looks good. And now. And once again, to show you that that is indeed uh, playing the MIDI stuff, let's go. Um, a sexy boy. Hey, how can we how can we resist something like that? Uh, so you see that the uh, should we not have a real MIDI keyboard and we just want to play around with a, a keyboard and playing with this thing, we can hook our MIDI uh, our our software keyboard to AM synth and work just as well. I do want to show you this in case it doesn't come up automatically in uh, virtual MIDI piano keyboard. If I hit connections, I do have to say output MIDI to AM synth. And as you saw, once again in Jack, uh, the VMPK output goes into AM synth and then everything's just exactly perfect. So that's it. Like I said, a very short time uh, just to get the connections there. Next week, we're going to spend uh, some time playing around with this synth and i hope to uh convince you that this is this is a synth that's well worth your time uh it's very clear as to how uh music synthesis happens with it so we'll just uh leave it for then thanks <laughs> Okay, well, that ends this week. Uh, I hope that was 
That was good, as good for you as it was for me. Uh, here are the versions I'm using. As always, if your stuff doesn't act like my stuff, check this first. And here are the links, web pages. Uh, as I've said before, people out there will help you. I'll help you. Uh, leave comments, email me, whatever, and let's get this going. I'll see you next time. Thank you.